Grey Ghost Gamers here, folks, and welcome to episode two of my attempt to get Deke as overpowered as possible. To do that, the story is uh, going to take a back seat at this moment as we intend to go a little off script. This is stupid. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> this is stupid. Where do I start? Well, we can start by taking a look at the map. How about that? Let's look at the map. Let's see where we're going. <laughs> Love the dialogue sometimes. You just sometimes you just gotta stay with the M NPCs and uh just hang out and listen to what these guys have programmed into them because they're hilarious. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is where we're at in the game. We're just gonna take a look at uh what we've got uh active going here. Up until this point, we've just been doing tutorial missions to get us used to the mechanics of the game. But now we are finally at Copeland's camp and are in free roam mode. So we can now choose what to go after. We had getting bandages for Boozer or listening to Copeland and wanting to get his mission out of the way. But we're putting those plans on hold. Now, when you're looking at the map, you can't move the cursor below a certain point in the map. You can move up around the Cascades and into Belknap, but there's just no access to the south because you're not supposed to be going there. However, I'm going off script because from this moment, I found a secret route to escape the Cascades and head on over to Lost Lake. And that exit point not even being that far from Copeland's camp. And to be honest, it surprised the hell out of me. I never would have suspected I could find something where I could leave the Cascades, because everything about the game wants to keep you in this region to progress the story. So normally you just hop on the bike and head on over to the Nero checkpoint and get Boozer's bandages. But it's important to note that despite the fact that these guys took Deke's bike and ended up giving him that, I think Manny feels a little guilty because we can actually get two things from him free to upgrade. If we go through, we see, oh, we can't really upgrade too much without uh, getting our trust level to these uh, to these points. However, I guess out of guilt, Manny has a gas tank, not much not much bigger, not not much bigger at all. Like when you look at the fuel capacity on the on the right there, it ain't much, but it's free. So you know what? We're gonna take that. And not only that, you definitely want to stop by and make sure that you check out the fact that you can get nitrous. That's right, Manny's got nitrous one. Hey, if you're just gonna stand there. Yeah, hang on, Manny. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna be able to make some use out of that little addition. Moral of the story, don't leave Copeland's without visiting Manny. You can get two nice small additions. Now, because we have the bigger gas tank, we can choose to refuel with the cash that we've earned. Should have more stuff later. Uh, but I'm not going to bother because there is yeah, yeah, yeah. some free fuel nearby. What are you doing here, man? Oh, I'm leaving. Don't worry. Yeah, in fact, I'm leaving all of you guys behind. I, I don't even care at this point because. I'm going to be venturing completely out of the Cascades. But before I do, I got to gas up. And there is a wonderful location, again, really close to Copeland's camp, to pick up some fuel and actually our very first Nero injector. Now, we also want to watch out because around this point could be some marauders. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> Uh, nitrous to hell, right by. Love it. Okay. 
be there as soon so as I can. just ahead of us on the right uh, is a little rock climb that we're going to be making to access the site now oh, look at that huh. persistent little marauders but right up this way right in uh, that guess, little crevice see what I can find, I we can walk up the rock and find a nero crash site st john this is cope when you get to the tower my radio uplink has been shut down i'll pay you to restore it so these men, you know them, because shutting down radio free. Nothing. Oh, it seems kind of personal. God damn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules about stealing, raping, murdering. Hell, maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. All right, so I'll let that dialogue just go. But essentially, Accessing this Nero site ahead of time without the use of nitrous is, is as you saw, fairly easy. And not only that... Another Nero injector. Good. We have access to our first Nero injector. And why not? In this case, I'm not using focus mode. Oh, that'll do it. In my particular playthrough. Finally. That's going to be a dealer's choice right there, what attribute you're going to want to use. Oh, here we go. Unfortunately, we still have a sniper out there. Good. Because I would have liked to have run him over. But at least we got rid of the one uh, marauder. And you can see normally, this is the jump you have to make. So I'm just going to point it out. This is the jump you have to make normally to get from that ledge over here, but nitrous one is not going to make it. <laughs> Even though I have a little bit of nitrous on here, uh, that's not going to not going to do much for me. Being that first jump off any height, you'll get that warning. Now I think I want to take this guy out, so I'm just going to. Let's see. Doing this with the controller, I've heard, is a little tricky. But, you know what? Picking up that rifle ain't so bad. <laughs> does make a hell of a lot of noise, though. It could attract a bunch of freakers. But again, daytime, I'm not really worried too much about freakers. And now, we're just going to head on over. Shall we do this? Yeah, <laughs> we can use our... Nitrous one to jump over that. That'll work. But to be honest, I'm just like crazy excited because we're now riding to a location where we can actually leave the Cascades and head over to Lost Lake. It is just, uh, when I discovered this, I just like nearly lost my mind. And uh, just to show you, we're, we're at that point now on the map. That, that little pond is what I use to gauge uh, the location to show you that that's that's a marker you can use and you can see we're not that far from Copeland's and Yeah, just before I move on. This is also the uh, first injector that you can get right near that uh, Crash site and there's the road that you would normally take boozer to access Lost Lake, but forget all that because it's right here right in this little area that the game now has just no more boundaries. <laughs> we are leaving the Cascades behind. And the way to do that, my friends, is that rock right between those two trees, right above Deke's head there. Are, are you ready? Because here we go. We are leaving Cascades. I, I couldn't even believe this when I first tried it. I thought for sure, oh, well, I'm about to have my bike flipped back on my head, but no, I it just kept going. And there we go. Oh my God. I like, this is just too crazy for me. And we just ride along this ridge. When we take a little bit of a lower tack here, 
just so we don't end up crashing or having to jump off a huge cliff. But this ridge right here is what we follow along. And this is, the, we're, we're now like out of there. We are by Cascades, there it is, see you later. And over there is Lost Lake. You can actually coast down this part let the bike goes because remember we still do have a crappy gas tank and you definitely want to take every advantage to consider fuel when you can and look at that that little pop-up on the right we have now arrived at the lost lake region we still have a ways to go because we have to cross this entire mountain range to get there and we start doing that by heading up this hill. You can use the those lines in the texture there to indicate the direction you gotta go. But look at that, Mount Thielsen over there. And there's Iron Mike's cabin right there. Oh my God, like we've hit it. There it is, Lost Lake. Unbelievable. Is your mind blown yet? Crazy, huh? But there we are. And careful with that cursor, because the moment you try moving up and down, it'll snap you back to the north. But look at that. The map is hardly even touched. And we are on our way to traversing the mountain and getting over to Lost Lake. Now, we have a little bit of a ways to go, because the invisible walls that are meant to keep Deke out of all the regions are still things that we have to cross and over to get into the region. And not only that, but you can see that little green patch ahead of us looks a little odd. The texture isn't quite as defined as the one we're at sitting on. Well, we have to cross that in order for the game to accept Deke being in Lost Lake. Now, it's not really that complicated. All you gotta do is use gravity to your advantage. So you don't have to go crazy with the accelerator or even the nitrous. All you got to do is get deep going and let gravity do the rest. Oh, whoa, man, that, that's just crazy, right? Uh, but if you are going too slow, the ground will literally disappear and you'll fall into oblivion. But if you just give yourself that little push off that little hill and coast down, you shouldn't have any problems. Now we make our way along the ridge again. Then we get to that floaty grass and head left toward that rock. And then we want to head straight again through two pines there to that tall pine to basically get down to this section of rock. And watch what happens. Whoa! Deke floating in midair! Well, obviously... Uh, we're not going to be using Deke to climb up this section of rock to get back to the Cascades, but that's all right. Not too worried about it. Um, before we move on, let's just check where we are. And you can see the route that we took from Copeland's all the way to this point. Right there, there's a little campsite. And there was the peak where we... Use gravity to glide down across the demarcation border and set us up right here to, to, to land in Lost Lake. Now, that drop looks pretty high, so I'm just going to check. Oh, yeah, Deke is uh, in need of some medical attention. So let's get him all uh, juiced up. Now, normally, I played through to test this, and you can just drive straight off if you want and take your chances, but I found a little different route. There's actually two ledges that you can access, and right there, I think it made the survivability a whole lot better than if uh, you just drive off that huge invisible ledge. Now, the bike sustained a little damage, and in this scenario, even a little damage could be problematic, um, especially when you come across Freakers, since it's the cheapest kind of bike, it's the crappiest, 
But uh, hey, we've got nitrous. Let's use it and outrun those guys. Easy peasy. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I know there's a gas station just a little further ahead. So get a little bit more life out of this uh, tank and uh, just fuel up over there. Well. Someone's trapped. We gotta help them. No, we don't gotta. Should look for fuel. Oh, we don't need a suppressor now. Jeez. Damn. More bounties. All right, now, unfortunately, we haven't uh, gotten to Lost Lake yet, so I don't think we'll be able to send our survivor this. over there. Hang on. You want to die out here? Look, there's a camp. Camp? Yeah, yeah. Where? Sh show me. Where? I I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, so we're stuck sending them all the way to Lake. Copeland's. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Oh, man, I, I was done for. Holy shit. You know? Thank you so much, oh man. Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know who I am. Don't stop, just keep out of sight. Well, at least he's heading in the right direction. But yeah, until, uh, until you actually visit a camp, you can't send any survivors to that camp. We can use this. Yeah, we can use that. I'm actually going to get some fuel right here. Since we're probably pretty low. Oh yeah, less than half. Okay. Good. I do want to repair. Let's see what I can do. And let's see if there's anything we can scavenge. I'll Maybe take useful. bottles. It's always good. Health items. Definitely need that. Anything else? No scrap. No. There might be something in here. Oh, this must have scrap. Yes. Scrap. Good. I'll take that. Okay. Next stop is going to be Sherman's camp. Where we're going to stock up on a few uh, throwables. Because there's actually quite a few things, not to mention a primary weapon that will end up being a little bit more useful than the rifle, I think. At least in this case. Seems pretty quiet. I gotta burn him out. I gotta make it safer to ride. Just immediately popped in there. Oh, we'll just... smell a nest gotta be right here right here but we also got some nice items we can pick up and that's not the only place where we can pick up some nice items right up there is our next target oh okay maybe I might take want to take these guys out Uh, 
There we go with the awful shooting. Oh, can't find me? Okay. Well, lost the, uh... Oh, that's going to bring him down on me. But not before I can get over there. Yeah, yeah, you just munch a bunch on something else. And the reason why I came up here, a little bit more ammo, but right there, some nice items to pick up. Two attractor bombs and two flashbangs. There we go. Let's see. Are we full up on that? Okay, but we'll take that ammo. Because the ammo tins are very dynamic. Meaning that the contents will always carry ammo for the weapon that you're carrying. And that's pretty much all we came here for. Just amp our load out just a little bit with the tractors. Now we got two out of three and two out of three. So until I get carry that weight, three is the limit that we're going to be able to pack. And that knapsack he's probably carrying. <laughs> the magical knapsack that can hold all this inventory. All right. Now, just past that farmhouse is usually a sniper in waiting. Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. So, we are just going to. Oh, sniper on the road. Shit. Yeah, sniper on the road. But we're also going to take them out very, very quietly. Ah, uh, you feel this, huh? God, oh, and they just kind of spawn out of nowhere. That's nice. I, yeah, I shot you, and uh, you're still coming after me with a melee weapon. Yeah. Not a smart move, pal. Not a smart move. That was just weird, though, how they just spawned out of nowhere, but that's where their hiding place was, I suppose. Yeah, don't worry about the sledgehammer. Should I go loot that guy? Ah, oh, why not? Trying to make Deke as OP as possible, so... Who knows what we, might, what we might find. Okay, Deke. Whoa, relax. Oh, so far this location is a bust. I have to come all the way over here just for this. <laughs> Where is he? Yeah, there we go. Hmm, M40. A nice scoped rifle. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with the crossbow for now. I'm not really going to need the rifle for what I'm going after, which are these. There are four Nero injectors here in the Lost Lake region. Two are out in the open, but the other two require restoring power to get the MMUs up and running. Doing that actually means a hell of a lot more at this point in the game because the three camps left to visit here in the south, Lost Lake and Diamond Lake, only have a mechanic available. 
and only at Wizard Island is there even a weapons merchant. You can't even sleep at a camp right now, so getting those MMUs up and running is going to be a good thing. Because it's exactly for this kind of scenario where it's really starting to get late in the day, but I'm out in the open and I gotta go after everything right now while it's still daylight. Unfortunately, the closest MMU is the sawmill one, and that's a little far from where I'm at, so it's probably going to be nighttime by the time I get there. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of resistance I'm going to encounter as I head over there and uh, open it up. Meanwhile, for your viewing pleasure, I've taken the liberty of uh, showing a different kind of map to be able to see where I'm going next. Because as mentioned before, you can't actually move the cursor around in the south. Oh, hello. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not hanging around for that. The one good thing though is the location we're going to, the horde has not spawned in yet. So don't have to worry about that. The precise horde I'm talking about is the uh, River Flow Farm Horde. That's okay. It's all good. Wonder what they were doing up here. Should I mention we're in spoiler territory? <laughs> because we're going to discover something we're not supposed to see until way later in a game. And that is that freaker. Another Nero injector. Yeah, another Nero injector. Now I am going for stamina all the way. <laughs> Steroids. Is that what all right. shit is? Uh, it's easy enough, but we're gonna need fuel, so we're pretty much gonna go back the way we came. In the meantime, field note one nine six zero. We've administered one thousand milligrams of ketamine to the female subject, and are beginning to. What the hell was that sound? Did it come out of that thing? Yes. Answer your second question. The thing is Homo sapiens mutants. Female. Tag specimen F37. And we're still in the process of finding out. Answer your first. Never heard anything like it. Would you step back and please? Thank you. Yeah. Subject's temporomandibular joint is distended an additional 100 cylinders. Look at its jaw. It's all stretched out of shape. is continuing to swell, now distending beyond its thyroidal medium and lateral ligaments. Mutant tissue is... Oh, it's waking up! Damn it! Here! Hold it down! <laughs> Administering another... Shit! Hold it down! What the hell Cheers, did boys. you do? Let's go! Open up! We're gonna bring a heart on us. We've been things. tracking and studying that subject for three months! Ugh, idiot! I didn't have a choice! Get out of my way! In the meantime, while we're dealing with the story of the Screamer, uh, we had a little bit of an invasion going on. And no problem there now. 74%. Open up. That's not too bad, but... Still want to gas up at every opportunity. There we go. Fuel can. But unfortunately, it is nighttime now. I was hoping to make it to uh, the next injector site. during the daytime, but a lot of interference and a lot of things to take care of. Open the gate, it's a drifter. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, there's nowhere to sleep. Yeah, always. Because what would normally be the ability to sleep, or uh, the, the camp to be open to be able to sleep at, 
a lot of the functions of these camps do not work yet. Because, hell, we're not supposed to be here, right? So, no sleep for Deke. Moving on. I've got another Nero injector I want to go after, and it's actually fairly close to the sawmill, uh, which is, if you look in the lower left, there's the sawmill, and uh, since I can't move the cursor down, uh, but the crash site where we can pick up another near injector is to the east of that. I'm just going to have to be stealthy about it as much as we can be on this loud ass bike. Sherman's camp. So I just did a full circle. And as we can see, there are more freakers running around. So we're just going to have to deal with more of them. And as we get to our next location. Now it's another crash site that you normally would access with nitrous. There's the uh, there's a location right there, and as you can see, it's another jump. But we ain't gonna make it with the nitrous that we have. But I'm betting you're still curious. Now is there a freaker right there? Yeah. I think I can take him out. Well. <laughs> so typical, like when they're standing still, I can't hit them, but when they're moving, a bullseye. All right, I'll just give a quick demonstration about how Nitrous One really isn't gonna get you there. Ready? But uh, yeah, no. No way in hell. <laughs> it's just too damn far. Too far. But there is a way to make it. I'm just going to quick save right here and show you the location of it. So there's a better, uh, better view of where that Nero injector location is in relation to the sawmill horde can't move up and down but we just go right across almost to the edge of the uh, cliffside there it's pretty much where it is okay we just gotta make sure we don't get killed by anything and it's another walk up so this tree stump right here is our gateway up. Might take a few shots. Yeah, it's going to take... Uh, sometimes I can make it on one shot. Other times, it's like hell on earth. <laughs> but it is possible. It's just a very precise line. Once you make it uh, past that first stick, then you're good to go. Now it's... Oh, great. Okay, well, you jump down. Ugh. Oh, crap. Yeah, screw this. <laughs> there we go. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's really hit or miss with me when it comes to shooting. Ah, minor. Oh, come on, Deke. Come on. That was that was bad. That was bad. That's okay. Just 
back up into it anyway. Alright. Not horrible. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Alright. Since we've got some scrap here. It should do it. I'm gonna repair it. And take that scrap. Always a good idea to keep the, the tank topped up because it doesn't take much. I mean, yes, it's a larger gas tank, but still, yeah, it's nowhere near where. Uh... <laughs> Throw and shoot at the same time. Not advisable. sky to keep you from coming back and <laughs> contaminating everyone oh god maybe maybe yeah, but that's okay injector let's see if it still works oh it'll still work mm. Ow. feeling stronger already there's a freaker somewhere probably in that wall <laughs> Now, do I need to make any Molotovs? Nope. I'm good with that. The bat's good. Everything else. Oh, I'm going to craft another. Okay. Let's just... Pick up some extra scrap while we're here. Okay. Let's take a look at what Deke has. Yep, just keeping on the stamina, more so than anything else for me in my playthrough. I'm not going to worry about focus, and health will come later. Okay. On our way to the sawmill. But before we head to the sawmill, there is a pit stop I want to make at another location. That's pretty close to the sawmill, where we can get some more fancy items. And it's at a uh, campsite. That's located just a little further south. I'll check the map in a second. But at this point right here, that little that little pond, that little pond that's southeast of the sawmill will yield a nice <laughs> melee weapon. And let's see where we're at. Ammo. Yeah. Take that. But also, ooh, look at the goodies in this box. Another tractor bomb. Frag grenade, proximity mine. So if we look at our inventory now, full up on the attractor bombs. Not much for proximity mines anyway, but we all seem to be stocked up in what we need. 
And that fire axe is definitely a welcome addition versus the baseball bat. Okay. Now I'm very anxious to turn night into day. So I think it's time to activate the Nero checkpoint sawmill horde. I do believe they are over there. Okay, can I take speakers yes, out yes. with the crossbow? Because I don't think I have... No. It'd be very, very loud. Okay. There you go. One Finally. shot, one kill. Wonder what Nero left behind this time. Well, hopefully they left behind you can. the ability to sleep. <laughs> because that's that's one thing that is just lacking. Okay, we're not gonna deal with this just yet because we still got speakers to take out. No. Yes. Nice. Oh, that's so much better. At least down here, though, I can uh, take these out just by cutting them. Because I definitely don't want the sawmill horde coming over here. They've got their space. I want my space. And the two won't mix. Not yet. Still a ways away from being able to tackle those guys. Now, what are they? Oh, yeah. You know, it is tempting to just shoot an arrow over there, but uh, I'm not insane. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I have a better gun, then I could deal with it, but not right now. Okay. That should take care of all the speakers. So now we can safely gas up and get some resources going. Now I'm going to use the can That's it. to gas up the bike, but let's just uh, and we got green lights. Green lights are good. Moment of truth. Excellent. All right. There really better be something in here with all this trouble. Oh, definitely, Deke. Guess what? An injector. Nero had all the good shit. They do have all the good shit. And I'm just gonna keep pumping you full of stamina. Ooh. And the beauty, too, is by opening this checkpoint, we are able to get some cash and trust at Iron Mike's. Now, will fortune smile on me? Yes. Awesome. We now have the ability to at least move the clock forward and not have to fight these guys in the depths of darkness in the middle of the night. So it should make traveling around a little bit easier. 11.15, well, we're gonna change that very soon. Yeah, we're not gonna worry. <laughs> Still not worrying about you, boozer. Suffer! <laughs> I've got other things on my mind. Not the least of which is uh, juicing up uh, to the max and having that extra skill point now. We'll be able to use it. Yeah, carry that weight is where we're going. 
and this one really doesn't matter. That's not the important part. This is unlocking the next tier so that we can now apply two more skill points to get us closer to carry that weight. Awesome. Stamina is going up there by the second every, every time we get a Nero Injector. Stamina goes higher and higher, which is just fine by me. If this helped you, please share to spread the word and be sure to come back to continue this journey with me. Be good to yourself and others you meet out there.